safe to say I think these are doing the job. Hey guys, what's up? It's Short and Stone, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canada advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, I'm going to be explaining Delta 9 and how it's able to be sold legally. Like my little, my moonwalker shirt. I got this shirt and these gummies at VIP at a music festival. I was shocked to see them handing out infused gummies. So that sparked my intrigue to do a little more research on this manufacturing and what seems like a legal loophole to share and educate with you guys. Because while I may be in a legal medical rec state, I know some of you aren't as fortunate. So I would like to share some knowledge with you guys. I took down some notes on my laptop. So let's get started. I'm going to share some information with you guys and then I'm going to be eating. Stay tuned to see how those affect me. Many people have been confused with the rise in the marketing and manufacturing of new minor cannabinoid products and how they can be sold and shipped legally. So there's been some questions and some misleading information floating around the internet. And this can be contributed to the ever-growing landscape of this industry with new products popping up left and right. So it is understandable why some people are feeling overwhelmed and the information sometimes doesn't match up. Furthermore, the lack of regulation and scientific research doesn't make things easier. The main culprit behind this confusion can often be contributed to people using the word CBD and Delta 9 interchangeably. But in reality, they're talking about two completely different compounds. And that's exactly what I'm going to clear up today as someone who's gone to school and studied the makeup of this plant. The science behind Delta 9 hemp is fascinating. Delta 9 hemp is the type of plant that contains less than 0.3% THC in order for it to fit under the Farm Bill Act passed in 2018, which allows for sales, distribution, and manufacturing of CBD products as long as they weren't psychoactive. The big T causing its psychoactivity is the key point in why it needs to be less than 0.3% to keep it legal at its federal level. But what makes Delta 9 hemp fascinating is its high concentration of CBD, which is non-psychoactive. This means that D9 hemp products can give you all the benefits of the plant with none of the psychoactive effects. When consuming any compounds, it's key to understand how it interacts with your body, specifically the endocannabinoid system. D9 hemp works by interacting with that system to help promote calm and relaxation. This is because CBD binds to the CB1 and CB2 receptors in your body that reduce pain, inflammation, promote an overall sense of calm, and promotes overall wellness. In comparing the two, CBD and Delta 9, Delta 9 is often referred to as more potent as it contains a more concentrated version of cannabidiol. However, it is so important to note that I am no medical professional, I'm just a cannabis professional, and more research is always needed in order to understand how this compound interacts with our bodies. One of the most critical aspects that we need to discuss more about Delta 9 hemp-derived product manufacturing is its safety. Just because it does make sense and it does appear in the plant naturally, does it mean that manufacturing methods can't be cheap 
not regulated, and over-processed and synthesized. I feel the same way about THCA. Just because that is the only other minor cannabinoid I trust doesn't mean that all manufacturing and companies are made legal. There's no regulations around these minor cannabinoids, so I can't stress enough how important it is to look at companies' COAs. And if they don't have certificate of authenticities that show if there's pesticides, molds, what level of major and minor cannabinoids are in there, then I don't trust them. And even then, if they have tests, check the laboratory it came from. Again, this is such a new and a rising industry that people have kind of shady manufacturing methods. And it is crucial to consult with a medical professional if you're seriously thinking of implementing Delta 9, the temp derived, into your relief lineup, especially if you're on medications. And that is why I'm trusting for my first D9 experience to be with Moonwalker. This has been a brand that has been on my radar for quite some time since my favorite OG can of creator Mac Dizzle has been working closely with them. All right, so I am going to eat these packs and see how these affect me. I have ADHD, chronic pain, anxiety, and those seem to all be flaring up today. So I'm going to take these and in about an hour or two, pop back on and see how these have affected me. A little context, I have been a daily medical patient in legal states with a physician approved medical card since 2018. I've never taken a T and I choose plants over pharmaceuticals. One of the most remarkable benefits that I can pinpoint for D9 that draws me in is its ability to promote relaxation and ease the feeling of stress. Probably because it's derived from hemp. Additionally, D9 derived from hemp has even been shown to help with inflammation and can help chronic pain. Another thing these gummies may help for, but I'm hoping they don't today because I'm not taking them in too high dose, is sleep. And that is caused by CBD's ability to help regulate your circadian rhythm. This obviously promotes a deeper sleep and a more restful night. So in conclusion, I can say that Delta 9 is a game changer when manufactured Properly, this is a minor cannabinoid I trust as it naturally occurs in the plant and has been linked to help so many different ailments and provide relief across the board. Given you can get this legally, I think this is amazing. And again, given the proper manufacturer and company, like Moonwalker, I definitely trust this. So I'm going to take these gummies, try them out, see if I like them. These are the NYX and Miranda. These are in the flavors pink lemonade and black raspberry. These are only 10 a pop. We're just gonna eat all 40 milligrams in this pouch. I and I will check back in an hour. Ooh. They're really good. I was munching on these at the music festival. They're delicious. I very much enjoy the texture and the taste of these. All right, I'll see you in an hour. One hour later. All right, guys, it's been an hour since we left off. I've exported all the content I've made for the day. I've even made two reels on Instagram. So the creative juices have been abundant and flowing and I've been focused. I feel calm and at ease and present. So safe to say, I think these are doing the job. I like that I can obviously feel the medicinal parts of the plant working, but without the head buzz or couch lockness, that regular gummies can give me. So I hope this was insightful for you guys. I'll definitely be finishing up the rest of these gummies. I would like to add that if you are someone who isn't versed in gummies, I can understand and validate how someone that who might not have the same consuming experience might feel buzzed off of something like this, especially if you were to take a lot of these. All right, thanks for joining me guys. I had fun. I just like eating gummies and comparing them and sharing them with you. If there's other products you'd like me to try and explain that you're unsure about, let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get in to my out.
outro. I'm ready to start editing. Ah, I'm really excited. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment and let me know if you have any questions at all. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more of me so we can keep hanging out in session. And if you haven't already, check out last week's video where I share an unboxing of the Puffco Peak Pro Flourish Edition that matches my engagement ring. And then stay tuned for my next video where I share a video I've been teasing I'm so excited for. It is going to be sharing advice from various female Canna content creators. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday, so I'll see you real soon. Peace. And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you.